and scorpion, if you have a look, you'll see that you can see the babies right through her cephalothorax. And in some of those cases, you can see that there's some eyes peeking through her body. She's ready to give birth. We can expect her to give birth in the next couple of days. They'll get out and they'll crawl onto her back and she'll look after them. And then when they're ready to come off, they'll come off and they'll start foraging for food. A northern scorpion, the female. Oh, these are the babies. So we're going to be transporting the babies of the northern forest scorpion into their own respective containers. And we're going to give them some food. So this video is showing that. Let's uh, lift up that log. They're all over the log, yeah. And here's the mom. They've all come off of the mom. You can see that. So now that they've taken off of her back, it's time for us to transport them so they can, we can maximize their survivability. It's melting the one you just had on the camera. Yeah, you can see that it's shedding its first molt, which means that that's the first end star. Okay, so what we got to do now is we got to move the female. The female is right here. With a paintbrush, I'm gonna get her out. So I'm going to put her on my hand. Carefully for the babies. Now that we got her, I'm going to put it in. So we're going to mark this as a female. So now we've got these little containers here constructed specifically to house these little babies. And so we've got some substrate in there which we're using as just paper towel. We've got some holes in the lid here for air movement. And now with the paintbrush we're going to gently move the specimen over. There's one. Here we have selected the smallest baby mealworms from our mealworm culture, which will be big enough for the scorpions that we've collected from the female that has given birth. We've got a total of 18 babies here, and we're going to be feeding each and every one of them.